tonight's Medical Watch, making the most of the mind-body connection. A device that fixes the heart is now being used on the brain, and with it, doctors think they've found a way to stop strokes. Medical reporter Dina Baer shows us how. I woke up, and my left arm, from, from the elbow down, I couldn't feel it. It almost felt like somebody pulled a circuit breaker. But an alarm did not go off for Richard Hendrickson, who thought perhaps the problem was a muscle or tendon in the arm. And I was packing ice packs on it, and it never got better. So I decided, better go see the doctor. He never made it to the doctor. One cold morning, Richard never even made it out of bed. On the day of the appointment, I got up and fell down. At the emergency room, they told him he'd had a stroke, his second, and that he needed special treatment, care they could only provide at Central DuPage Hospital. We uh, deployed the, the uh, wingspan stent. The wingspan stent is a tiny coil, much like a stent used to prop open a heart artery. But this is smaller and more flexible. In the original form, so tiny, it can be snaked up through blood vessels in the brain. If it's soaked in blood, ultimately over time, the wingspan itself expands. So over several months. That expansion continues to push the blocked vessel open to allow for better blood flow. If you have a blockade in, in one of those intracranial vessels, obviously the flow will be limited. There are many instances where the flow can go down and, and result in strokes. Up until now, doctors could only try medication in an effort to prevent recurring strokes, either aspirin or a stronger blood thinner. I mean, even with combination treatment, most patients with a history of stroke who recover from a stroke will have about 22% chance of having another major stroke within the first year. The wingspan stent gives new hope for stroke-free survival, but the treatment is not without risks. Navigating through curvy, plaque-filled, rigid vessels can do damage, but for Richard, it was worth the gamble. Definitely peace of mind, but... I don't have to worry about suddenly falling down because the uh, arteries clogging up. Central DuPage Hospital is one of the only two hospitals in Illinois, 24 nationwide, using this technique to prevent recurrent strokes. On the Medical Watch, Dina Baer, WGN News. Well,